That's exactly how I feel at the thought of Hillary Clinton for president. Now, we've already told you that she finally turned over her server after all this time, but now we know that she handed it over after it was professionally wiped clean. So this means it was wiped clean of any usable information, and the three thumb drives that she also turned over, they contained only what she selectively culled from her server. So again, just total transparency here with this one. Uh, this is a myriad of criminal offenses that are applied to this conduct. And the Observer points out the colossal number of Clinton crimes here that are just piling up and how the federal law enforcement is blatantly uh, just turning a blind eye to this. Anyone else would have already been thrown in jail. Um, so these are infractions of laws that are designed to protect national security. And we've seen in the past uh, that they've gone after people, even reporters. Um, they've been investigated, prosecuted. Some of them have spent years in prison. So they go on to point out how um, the federal law enforcement didn't hesitate one minute to investigate um, and prosecute former CIA Director General David Petraeus. He shared his notebook with his biographer slash girlfriend. I mean, he didn't turn over any top secret information there, uh, but of course his name was dragged through the mud. They've also threatened news reporters and prosecuted whistleblowers um, under the Espionage Act. In fact, this administration has uh, prosecuted more reporters and whistleblowers for espionage than all prior administrations put together. Of course, they immediately seized Fox News reporter James Rosen's emails without him even knowing same thing was happening to Cheryl Atkinson. She reported that her computer was being taken over, of course. Um, and then, of course, we've reported about uh, former House Speaker Dennis Hastert and Senator Menendez. So they were getting all, you know, all kinds of bad press. Senator Menendez can't even go on vacation with his best friend because that looks a little fishy. Meanwhile, Hillary Clinton and her foundation can accept millions of dollars from foreign governments that are, of course, seeking to curry her favor there at the State Department. And the Wall Street Journal uh, points out that the entire time of her State Department tenure, Hillary Clinton declined to allow an inspector general there. So uh, there was no internal oversight. And of course, <laughs> let's not forget that $6 billion that vanished under Hillary Clinton's State Department. So are we seeing a pattern here? Anyone else? Anyone else would have already been arrested, thrown in jail. But no, she's still being paraded around like she's the Democratic front runner, like she's the inevitable future president. She is a criminal. But you know what? Hillary Clinton is not alone in her criminal politicking.